Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through my favourites from the month of April. can't believe April's now over. Um, this year's just flying by, but yeah, I wanted to let you know what my favourite products across beauty and skincare and makeup has been over the last month, over the month of April, what have I been really enjoying and really loving and really reaching for. So if you want to see what my favourites are, just keep on watching and do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll get started. So my first favourite this month has been the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I absolutely love this foundation. I've been reaching for it for quite a lot. I've had uh, different occasions like weddings and special things that I've been going to and just basically on a daily basis wanting when I want a full coverage, really flawless looking skin. I've been really reaching for this. Absolutely love this. Can't recommend this highly enough and really, really, really recommend this. And I am in NC20. Um, like I said, I reach for this several times a week and days that I'm going out or days that I know I really want to look my optimum best, I do really reach for this as it just gives you long wear, long lasting, full coverage foundation that just looks like yourself but better. So really, really love this. My next April's favourite is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, I had sort of gone away from using this for a little while and then I've recently come back to using it and whoa, I forgot how good of concealer this really is. It blends out beautifully, it leaves your under eyes really bright, really hydrated, just looking really natural and flawless uh, as well as really covering those dark circles which I definitely have. So yeah, I'm in shade uh, vanilla absolutely love this concealer. It is a little bit more pricey than a drugstore one but I really recommend it and from a high-end concealer I really say it's hard to beat the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. They have so many shades and it just like sits beautifully on your skin so really really recommend this. The next favourite is the NYX uh, Lip Lingerie in Sheared Bedtime Flirt. Um, this is a beautiful matte liquid lip and I'll just swatch you the colour. It's a really beautiful uh, sort of nudie pink so on the lips it looks quite pink here but on the lips it's quite like your own lip color because lips are a little bit more red than uh, most people's lips are a little bit sort of got a red tone to it um, and this really is just like my own lips but better color and I really love the matteness it literally is only like one or two shades different than my natural lips but it just makes your lips look even better than they naturally are so really really love this and find it's very long wearing as well which is good you can have a drink or a cup of tea and it's still on which is always really good so yeah really affordable as well so really re recommend checking these out and I know they do different colours and actually I would quite like to try some of the other shades because I really actually like the formula of it. It's a matte but it doesn't over dry out your lips which I really like. The next favourites of mine is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. This is what the head bit looks like. I've been using this pretty much every day and it just gets the most amount of volume on your lashes. I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara um, so much but I also really love this and I like the head shape because it's actually easier for getting on the lower lashes as well as giving volume on the big uh, top lashes. So I think this at the moment might be my favourite mascara because it's definitely what I'm reaching for on a daily basis. Uh, when I'm going to work or just when I'm going out I feel like it makes your lashes look so long even if I'm going to work and I'm doing a natural makeup look I like my lashes to look long and volume and this is definitely what this mascara does so absolutely love this and one of my favorite high-end uh, mascaras of all time I would say. The next April favorite is the Essence Liquid uh, Ink Eyeliner and it's waterproof absolutely love this it's just a true black it's what I've got on my eyes now um, it's so quick to apply it's really really black it's got a nice nib which is really easy for doing a liner super affordable it's like two pounds fifty can't say enough good things about it if you haven't tried it go check it out because this is so affordable but really good quality as well and you can get it in the UK in places like Wilco so yeah recommend checking this out the next April favourites is the Laguna uh, NARS Bronzer. It's such a lovely uh, shade. It's got little bits of shimmer to it, but like not really. It's super, uh, really subtle amount. Um, it's just a nice sort of bronzing shade. It really works with my skin colour and just, I've really been loving it. Um, it just warms up the skin, looks really natural and blends really easy with uh, your other makeup. So it looks very soft and diffused, which I really like. So yeah, really recommend this. 
The next product is the Simple Jewel Effect Eye Makeup Remover and you only uh, will see how much I've actually only got left is such a little amount. I've been using this pretty much every day. It's got like an oil and then a liquid bit so you can see it's sort of two different types of consistencies and then you shake it up, put it uh, on your eyes um, using a pad, a little cotton pad and yeah it's really really good. I have found this really soothing on the eyes, It's there's no burning, no stinging, it takes all the makeup off and is really affordable, it was only a couple of pounds and yeah I can't say enough good things about it, it's just easy on the eyes, it's not feeling, because I've got sensitive eyes so some makeup removers really hurt my eyes but this one doesn't and it really does take all the makeup off in one go so you're not having to go over and over and over again taking off all your eye makeup, um, so yeah really really recommend this and I did get this from Superdrug if you are wondering. The next favourites is the L'Octane um, Body Milk and this is what it looks like and it's in the Le Vert. Um, so this is a beautiful, smells so good, it's like really florally, like natural smell, it's really beautiful. And because it's a body milk, it's like a really lightweight, hydrating, uh, very liquidy moisturiser, so the consistency, I'll just show you, it's much thinner consistency than any of my other moisturizers but it does so so nice stuff to your skin so it's quite runny you can see it's dripping down just put a little bit on and it just moisturizes your skin smells so good but then also leaves your skin just looking that sort of natural glow so without having to put on like a bronzer or a glowy product it just moisturizes and gives you a lovely sheen and feel to the skin it just feels so soft smells so good so yeah really been loving um this moisturizer absolutely beautiful and yeah loctane i had used their hand products but i hadn't really tried their body moisturizers and this body milk i love the formula i'd actually say i prefer the formula of the body milk than the actual hand cream because the hand cream is a bit thicker and i love this lightweight very soft feeling uh, moisturizer so really really been loving this the next product i want to talk about is the clinique acne solution clearing gel so this is really good if you get a spot or any sort of imperfection you can put it on a little earbud type thing and just pop it on the spot or the blemish and it will kill it it will get rid of it and your skin will be back looking really nice again really quickly when I get any sort of problem areas I pop this on and overnight it looks radically different and it takes sometimes if I get like a, a little spot or something and sometimes it can feel a bit sore it really soothes it as well so it's not like hurting as well so really really love this. It was a little bit pricey for such a small bottle because you only get 15 mils um, but I really recommend it and definitely the best spot treatment I've ever tried for actually just killing it, getting rid of it and boom you're done. The final product I want to tell you as a favourite is the Sigma Geo Fiber F50 brush. Any of you who know me I love bronzing and I'd actually bought this brush quite a long time ago for translucent powders but I hadn't really been using it that much for translucent powder. I'd really been using my big Sephora 91 brush for powder because it just packs on the powder really quickly and it's tapered so it doesn't put too much on. So I hadn't really been using my Geo Fiber which I had bought for translucent powder that much but then I started using it as a bronzing brush and I've really been loving that. It just diffuses everything so softly, blends out your bronzer beautifully and definitely an April favourites because I've been bronzing pretty much every day using this so absolutely love this brush. So guys, that is all of my favourites from the month of April. I hope you enjoyed this video, enjoyed seeing what I've been liking over the last month. Do leave me comments below what you've been enjoying over the last month, any of your favourite products. I love hearing from you guys. It's always so cool to see your little comments below, hear from you and just see what you guys like as well. So if you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up and su subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!